welcome to being N-dubs in America and beyond. Hello, guys. You're back. The show that gives you intimate access to one of Britain's biggest urban pop acts. Bogey there, babe. Bogey there. Get out. 2010 was a massive year for Julissa. Yes, we got an award. <laughs> her cousin Dappy. Dappy. I was committing crime while she was in your nappy. And their old school friend Phaser. Hold it back in it, fam. With a string of hit records. Triple platinum in the UK is staggering. Performances at the world's biggest festivals. <laughs> and not to mention their very own TV show. which using the latest in head camera technology... You're going to wear these, and people are going to see what you see. Yeah. ..got up close and personal. Kick a dump. Nipples are out, nipples are out. Get the fuck up. ..showing the band's fights. He doesn't know how to behave. ..freakouts. I swear, I'm going to smash their ..and big life changes. It's where everything goes crazy. 2011 is set to be even bigger and better for the nation's favourite trio. I love Bye. you. Oh. As they get ready for a massive UK arena tour. The n -Dubs tour this spring is double the size of last year's tour. And head off to the States on a writing and recording trip. They're going to write with some more top writers and producers, the kind of people that work with Black Eyed Peas, Rihanna and Beyonce. That's the level n -Dubs are now at. And they'll meet the senior marketing executives, promotion executives, the president of the label, indeed all the people who can help explode their career across America. But is America ready for this controversial band? It's fair to say end up for the most angelic music act I've ever worked with in my career. And anyone who suggests otherwise is lying. Are you telling porkies, Jonathan? <laughs> so let's meet the cast of the big American adventure. Starring singer, writer and all-round bad boy Dappy. Rapper, DJ and producer Phaser. And singer, songwriter Tulisa. Co-starring the band's business-minded manager, Jonathan. The other manager, hard-working, Rich. Tobias, the tour manager. And introducing the band's best mate, Z. And guest starring for one week only, Tiny Temper. So let the fun begin. Before jetting off to LA to start work, the band will make a quick stop in New York. Tour manager Tobias has herded them to Heathrow. But things rarely run smoothly in the N-Dubs camp, and today a familiar face is missing as Dappy is sick. Yeah, Dappy's ill today, man. We went past his house on the way here and he was messed up. When you get the other side, they're going to want to see both of those. But you're yeah. going to need a pen on you to fill out the, uh, yeah. the, the white card when you get through. And it's not just Dappy who's feeling under the weather. I woke up yesterday with a flu. I said, I woke up today now, I feel even worse. And it's moving to my chest, I can feel it. So he's very excited, you know. I've never been on first class before. First class, very well, <laughs> splendid. <laughs> oh. I want to get in my little bed. Tulisa's ill and Dappy may be on his deathbed, but nothing is going to stop an excited Phaser from having some first-class fun. Hey. How are you feeling? Just woke up, yeah? We've got some fans up here as well. Hello, guys. All right. This is b and Hello. Hello. Hi. Tagging along on the trip is the band's best mate, Z. What was he? <laughs> yeah. You had the big one, Z, bro. You don't get that in economy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just sitting here, just chilled out. Yeah, spilled off flipping hot chocolate all over myself. Clumsy clogs, clumsy clogs. New York, New York, big city of dreams. But everything in New York ain't always what it's... The band have touched down in New York, and seeing the bright lights of the home of hip-hop inspires Phaser musically. Hey, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Man's got the song right now. Wait, wait, wait. Will it be a bit of Jay Z, P Diddy, Fifty Cent? This right now. Don't get me mad. Or Sting. I like my toast on one side. I drink tea, not coffee, my dear. 
You're so street, Phaser. Can you hear? I'm an Englishman in New York. It's Phaser's first time in America, and he's finding it hard to contain his excitement. Walking cane. How I see this shit on TV, blood. I don't know what I expected it to be like, bro. Look at that MacDee's out here, bruv. Sorry, but that looks like a beer to me. Manager Jonathan Shallot has also just arrived at the hotel. He's flown out to keep the band in check, or to try at least. Phaser, welcome to New York. Hey, what's going on, Jonathan Shallot? A madman. Crazy. I'm very happy to have Talisha and Fazer here in the hotel, but at least they're here and I can see where they are. Dying to tell best mate Dappy about arriving in New York, Fazer decides to give him a call. Daps. Hello? Hello? What the f... Hello? Hey. Or that's Hello? who he's trying to call. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You hear me? Where are you from? Hello? Where are you from? I'm from Hawaii. You from what? And why? Hawaii. Oh, oh, Hawaii? Uh, nigga, why am I talking to you? It's the first morning of the band's brief stopover in New York. Oh, being in those, you want to come in? You want to see my balls? <laughs> come, come, come. It's a new day in New York City. We in Manhattan right now. I'm brushing my teeth. And you look all watching me. How about that? You're watching Phaser brush your teeth. Uh. Still excited then, Phaser? Cold out here this morning, see? Dappy might be ill in London and Tulisa's laid up in bed, but Phaser is raring to go. So with his head cam on, he's off sightseeing with best mate Z. Empire State Building. Thank you. What? Are we in the New York cab? Hey! They might be heading to the Empire State Building, but it looks like something else has caught their eye. Empire Erotica. Live girls, isn't it? <laughs> and Jonathan Shallot in there, yeah? Hey. That's no way to talk about your manager, Phaser. Phaser might be famous in the UK, but over here he's just another tourist. How you doing, man? Okay. Yeah, man. Welcome to New York City. You see over 30,000 buildings. Jeez. Three surrounding states. Man. Five boroughs and eight bridges. Don't piss the guy off. 320 metres high. Sir. Damn. Phaser is loving the locals and impressed by what he's heard. It's time to check the view out for himself. Now we're about here, I think. Yeah, we're about here. And we're going all the way up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my days, blood. <laughs> He's looking down on other buildings. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah, living in this building, like having the penthouse suite at the top of the building, being like, blood, this is the player pad. Bro. I was in my blocks the other day in Camden, yeah, and I was in Bray Towers where we filmed at the first episode of BNN Dubs. 21 floors in my building in my local area. This has got 102 floors, bro. You can see the whole world from here, bro. Look, there's the Eiffel Tower, bro. Wow. Really, Phaser? The Eiffel Tower? Are you sure? I mean, not Eiffel Tower, it's actually Liberty, blood. Is that it? Yeah, bruv, in the water, standing there, look. <laughs> Seeing the Statue of Liberty reminds Phaser of a certain lady who is missing the view. To be honest with you, yeah, Talise is ill today, but um, I think she's missing out on something here. Talise! 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 Not sure she heard you, Phaser. While in New York, the band are going to give their first American interview, and manager Rich is there to make sure it all goes smoothly. We're in a place called Karma Loop. Karma Loop are one of the biggest sort of lifestyle brand sites on the web. Um, they're branching out to do a big sort of key TV piece. I know Phaser's behind me. Hopefully he's not giving me any untoward signs. Probably is. What are you doing? I'm not doing nothing, man. It's chill, man. It's chill. It's cool, man. It's chill, man. 
Thankfully, Talisa is feeling better, so Faiza won't have to fly solo. This is a chance for the band to get their faces seen in a country where they're pretty much unknown. You have to get used to the fact that out here, you are, like, no one. <laughs> I feel like we're going back, basically back to square one again. You have huge success in the UK, and now you're kind of here to start from scratch, to build up. Why did you want to conquer America at this point? When it comes to music, America is the place to be. You just haven't done it unless you've gone to the States and done it there. Do you think it's the time now, finally, for a UK hip-hop act to break through the American mainstream? I think this is a good time for Indars and a lot of other UK acts to come over to the States. I find that um, a lot of Americans are looking out to the British sound now as well. I'm hearing the whole dance scene and everything like that. A lot of people are listening to the European sound, the British sound, and saying, oh, mm. uh, we like that, and um, that's what we're going to bring to America. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little bit under pressure and a little bit nervous, and I think it's because, I don't know, it's like I'm in America and they don't know you, like they don't know who you are. Thank you. No really problem. nice to meet you. Um, have, have a good one, man. Thank Take you. care, man. All the best. While Tulisa and Faiza are living it up in the Big Apple, their bandmate, family man Dappy, has been sticking it up in London. I was puking up a lot. You lot didn't want to know that, obviously. Finally feeling better, he's now packing for L.A. Well, trying to, anyway. Shouldn't you be doing this, madam? I was trying to say you want me to help you. <laughs> what are you doing to your belly, man? I've got my toner. Well, after you had two kids, yeah? Yeah, Brett, what? Say something. I don't even know if this is all going to fit. This make-or-break trip is going to keep Dappy away from girlfriend Kay and his two kids for a few weeks. I'm upset. Look at him, look. Ready? I'm going to be very lonely, but I know it's beneficial for us and our children's future, so... You know. Daddy's going now. Give Daddy a kiss. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Coming up, Julissa and Faiza catch up with Tiny Temper. End of, I mean, you know, that's my family right there. An excited Dappy makes a splash as he arrives in America. Don't you want to take your vest off? <laughs> and the band bring out the big guns. Is there any way you could put onto automatic fire as well? <laughs> be scared. Be very scared. <laughs>
that. Oh, being in dubs. You want to come in? Welcome back to being in dubs. We're following one of the UK's most popular bands as they embark on a three-week recording trip in America. I think this is a good time for Indars to come over to the States. Using the latest in head camera technology, you'll get an exclusive view into the lives of Tulisa, her cousin Dappy, and old school friend Faiza. Wow. Tulisa and Faiza have made a quick stopover in New York. Man's in Times Square, isn't it? While bandmate Dappy has yet to make it to the States, as the poor wee mite has been ill. Oh. But he's finally feeling better and heading to America on a mission. I just want to go to the studio and make my tune. I want to make my big one tune. That's all I'm going there for, is to make End Love's one big tune. That's all it is, three minutes. Three and a half minutes of magic. I'm going straight studio sleep, studio sleep, studio sleep, studio sleep, till I get that one banger. That's what I'm aiming for. I ain't going out of there to be no fucking clonker. It might be all about business for Dappy, but in New York, Tulisa and Faiza are keen to soak up stateside nightlife. Hey, we're here. Manhattan, about to go down to see Tiny Temple perform now. I like to leave. You say to these Going out to see Tiny's show tonight is twofold. Firstly, the band are gonna get a chance to go there and relax and chill and have a drink and let their hair down a bit. And secondly, I know there's gonna be sort of key press and uh, marketing people and agents there as well. It's like you saw uh, last night in New York, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, you gotta like hit the town and shit, you know? Yeah, it's the like, last night. The last night. The last night. It's, it's like the last night. The last night? The last night. Tiny will be performing at SOB's, a venue which has helped launch the careers of US artists like Kanye West, John Mayer and Drake. <laughs> Tiny is making a name for himself in America, which is exactly what N-Dubs hope to do later this year. What I would say to N-Dubs, I mean, you know, that's my family right there, and, uh, and they're hard workers, so I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem at all, but America is a very freaking big place. It's massive, so you just have to really be prepared for the magnitude of America. It's a very, very huge place. What time do you want to say? I want to say 9.30. 10.30? 9.30, OK. Right. <laughs> it's time for Tiny to perform. Normally, the ones on the stage, Tulisa and Faiza take advantage of being in the crowd and hit the bar. Thirsty, Tulisa. Let me say hi, yeah. Say hi, yeah. Say hi, yeah. Say hi, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Let's go again. Yeah, yeah. We bring the stars, yeah. We bring the women and the girls, in the... Let's have a talk to celebration, yeah. And we can do this up to it. Tiny's set goes down a storm and has given Tulisa and Faiza a taste of what could come for them. If I could do music with any other people, it'd be you guys. And I'm so happy, and I'm so happy that you did your thing. We've got Estelle here as well. Bring her in. Ooh, songstress Estelle's turned up too. So while Tulisa and Faiza party the night away with their celebrity friends, over on the West Coast, Dappy has finally arrived with tour manager Tobias. Hello, motherfuckers. Hey. What is it, a Hummer, yeah? Chrysler, yeah? What, how do you do it? Um, what? My 22 inches. These ain't no 22 inch. You know they say money can't buy everything. They're right. You get me to be. Yeah, man. But. Money can buy you diamonds, and me, you, we like diamonds, yeah? We like diamonds. On the plane, they made me and you feel like absolute crap. Like, they're saying, are you not supposed to, is this your seat? Can I check your boarding? I'm like, what do you mean? I said, check his boarding card. Check his boarding card. Why are you checking our boarding card? Two weeks ago, we were meeting Prince Charles shaking his hands, Vivian Westwood suits and whatnot, looking all nice and fancy. Today, today we got Spoken to like champ. As Dappy arrives at his hotel, 
back in New York, Tulisa and Faiza are making their way to the airport to fly to L.A. to be reunited with their bread bin. It's the next morning and Dappy is relaxing in the L.A. sunshine. Yeah, the Daps is here. Finally together again, it doesn't take the band long to fall back to their usual ways. Hey, Costas! <laughs> hey, that's a good thing you were in New York, mate. I'll tell you something, brother. It was freezing. Oh, my God. See, look how hot it is here. No man's so spontaneous here. Yeah, go on. I just thought to do something. What are you going to do, that's? Don't you want to take your vest off? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the band are having a day off before the hard work starts, and manager Rich has organised an explosive outing. So... Yeah? So they are, we have some fun, we're going to have a range. The shooting range? Yes. Hey! hey. <laughs> Once the N-Dub's water baby finally gets dried off, they head out. En route to the range, the boys decide to give the cameras an exclusive preview of a new track Dappy's recorded with Tinchy Strider. They might be on an afternoon off, but Dappy is still keeping focused on the job ahead. We wanted to go straight to the studio, yeah? And make that three and a half minutes of magic, because without that three and a half minutes of magic, no one gets fucking paid. <sighs> Hear that? Yep, so you've had two three and a half minutes of magic, and you've got two kids. Bruh! The buyers used to get slapped for that one. To the boo, that's the best punchline yeah, ever. Bruh, you, you, you deserve to get a record deal just for that one line. <laughs> As the band arrive at the gun range, Tulisa makes a rather unnerving discovery. Oh my god, is that a case here? What's that? I've been letting it off here that? on the pavement. Is that from a bullet? Yeah, that's from a bullet that come out the back. With real guns and live ammunition, the band are given an important safety briefing. When was the last time someone got hurt here? <laughs> Never, because people follow guidelines. When it comes to picking their weapons of choice, it's no surprise Julissa and the boys go for very different models. I have no idea about guns, so you need to pick me something that'll probably be easy for me sure. to shoot. I'll take a Glock 40 and um, the M16. And is there any way you can put onto automatic fire as well? No, no, in California. All right, we're not here to glamorize guns. We're here to have some fun. It's the 12 gauge, <laughs> it's the 357. Mwah. Let's see if I can hit the target. Kids, don't play. I suggest you put your earplugs in before you go in the hallway here, man, because it's loud as hell, man. The boys can't wait to get shooting. But a nervous Tulisa isn't quite so trigger happy. I don't like guns. I don't know, I just don't really see the appeal they were made for killing people. I'm not shooting it first. I'm afraid it might backfire or something. Someone else can shoot. Tulisa might be gun shy, but the rest of the crew are firing on all cylinders. <laughs> Even manager Rich has decided to give it a go. I might even get the bullets in the actual gun. Or try to, at least. After a slow start, Tulisa finally gets firing. I tried to get him in the nuts. Like I didn't get him at all. Dappy is keen to prove he's a hot shot. He ain't no gangbanger, he can <laughs> Not sure the locals agree. That's what it's supposed to look like. At the end of the session, the boys seemed pleased with their results, especially Rich. Morning, Dappy Fazer to Lisa. But Tulisa still didn't manage to get her man. Still didn't get me the bloody nuts. Bollocks. 
next time on Being N-Dubs. Don't get me mad. Get me woo! The band might be reunited, but the cracks are showing. Why don't you do something separate for TV for Talisha if she wants to do TV, bro? I'm not in that, bro. I'm very pissed off, but I'm not going to fight him anymore. Let him carry on. Can we get that big tune? Talisha, let's work. And I'll start going out, please, just, just showing face, game. Okay?